guys oh my god it's been a minute but i'm back with a new video so i have a few exciting announcements to make first of all this week i'll be getting doors in my closet which means next time i'll film i have a way more pleasant looking background also y'all we hit 100 subscribers oh my god god i cannot believe i already have 100 subscribers i want to thank you all so much for subscribing for watching my videos and i hope that our family will only grow so yesterday i went to a garage sale i went on the doll hunt and i found some goodies a whole bag of them to be precise obviously they need this body because they're second-handed they've been played with most of them and so they need a spot, eh? And I thought I would film that for you guys. All of these are from a garage sale, except this girl. This is from the 10 year anniversary line, Mira. And actually got her off of Vinted. I've been looking for her for so long because she's a childhood doll, but mine has her hair cut short because her hair was a mess and I didn't know how to fix it back then. But now I have one with full length of hair that I do need to fix. So that's the first girl. The rest of the dolls are from the garage sale. So first I find these really cute Thumbelina dollies. They're so cute. I've always wanted them as a child and they looked pretty good. I feel like she's missing a skirt though and their hair is obviously a bit messy but we can fix that. I also found a Stacy and I've always wanted like the full Barbie sister collection so <laughs> I now have Chelsea, Skipper, Stacy, and Barbie so I basically have them all. And there's some stuff on her face. I don't know what it is but I hope I can get it off. And I hope I have enough of her because she's pretty small. The next, my favorite by far, Flashback Fever Yasmin. So if you're into Bratz dolls, you will know that the Flashback Fever line is really hard to find. And especially on eBay, they're crazy expensive. However, on this garage sale, this woman sold her with all of her accessories and entire bag full. And she literally said to me, like, oh yeah, she has only been taken out of the box because my daughter doesn't play with dolls. So basically, I've got a brand new Flashback Fever doll, and I'm so excited about this. Like, oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Her hair is also in really good condition. It does obviously need a clean, but it's a really good condition. Then we have Mrs. Particles Jade. She also needs a spot. Then I have this Grow and Cut Yasmin surprisingly her hair has not been cut so that's great however i do think it has been cut at the top it looks kind of like there's a little bit cut it but i think you can camouflage that pretty well so then i found fashion show chloe honestly i'm kind of digging this look on her as well so i might just keep it on her i got this um puppies chloe i know she came with like a dog she's also holding the the leash but the dog itself was nowhere to be found but she did come in her original fit so that's great and then two non brad dolls the first one is ghouls alive frankie and she actually makes noise and her head lights up or something and so yeah i decided to get her she looked cool she was also the only monster high girl in there that did have her outfit so yeah and then last but most certainly not least it's Madeleine Hatter! Oh my god, I didn't have her in my collection yet. I was so surprised to actually find Ever After High Girls on a flea market or like garage sale. And she came with pretty much almost all accessories. She's just missing one of these. Her shoes and her bag, of course. I'm excited to add her to my collection. So, these are them. Let's get fixing! So first of all, I'm obviously gonna have to undress them all since I don't want the clothes to get wet. Except for this Chloe because she has a leash on her hand so it was really hard to get this top on. So I'm not gonna take it off again. And the pants are pretty much on her. You can't take them off. Like, you, there's an option to take them off but you won't ever get them off with the chunky feet and you can't take those off. So yeah, she's just gonna stay in her fit and hopefully dry up nicely. <laughs> okay, so I just discovered something. I thought she only came with one of these, but the other one was just stuck in her sleeve. So she actually does come with both. All right, I'm in the bathroom and I laid my dolls down. I usually don't do this, I just leave them up there. But since that there are so many, I decided to lay them all out on a towel. So what I usually use to fix my doll's hair 
is some shampoo. I used the Pantene um, shampoo for curling hair. That's just my shampoo, so because I have curly hair. And then also a conditioner. I have um, the same conditioner. I use usually one of these Bratz brushes and a comb. I usually first uh, brush it with this brush until I can go through pretty much all the way. And then I get in with the comb. And of course a water boiler or a kettle or whatever you want to call it because I'm probably going to do a boil wash on these girlies. Also what I usually like to do is once I condition the doll, I lay it back and then do the other doll and then lay that back and then uh, rinse the first doll and then keep doing that so that the conditioner can kind of um, soak in for a while. So yeah, that's how I like to do it. So I decided to start with the most difficult doll, which is Mira. The reason why she's difficult is because she is from the 2010 era. And back then, uh, MGA had a lawsuit with Mattel and uh, rumor has it that Mattel bought all the good hair just so that MGA couldn't use it for their Bratz dolls. So they, their hair is not the greatest. Dry and knotted and matted and just... It's just really hard to work with. I'm putting on some good music since I will be in here for a while. I want to try to keep the hairstyle that she has intact since it's pretty much her original hairstyle. So I'm going to start with just wetting the hair. Some warm water. And then we add in some shampoo. A little goes a long way. Once I've made sure the whole hair is covered in shampoo, I'll start brushing. Alright, I finished brushing Mira for the first time and I am impressed. So good, I can come through real easily. It's not like tangled or matte. It's also not frizzy, which usually with these dolls, the hair is really, really frizzy. So after I brush, and I usually brush when the shampoo is in, so now we rinse. All right, her hair does feel a little bit frizzy at the ends. You can see I definitely have to trim a bit, but other than that, it feels really good. I'm now gonna put in some conditioner. Make sure to spread it all through the hair. Once that's done, I'm now gonna set this all aside. The conditioner can really get into the hair, and I'm gonna start on my second doll. The worst condition of all, it just looks really disgusting and, you know, it feels really gluey and sticky and it's just, it's not what you want. So let's fix her up. I, I don't know if you guys can really see it on the camera, but you can actually kind of see the glue on her scalp right here. Also, there's plastic sticking out that I have to cut out. So yeah, this is a mess. Again, same procedure, starting with wetting the hair. I do hope that she keeps her curls. So again, shampoo, 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 let's shampoo our hair. And then we brush. Also, one thing I highly recommend, especially with these kind of dolls, with like ever of the Island Rice, but pretty much with any doll, is when you're brushing, Hold the head. Do not brush like this because the pulling on the hair will put a lot of weight on the neck and it can cause the necks to break pretty easily. So I suggest I always grab the head. I brush against a flat surface. And if you're doing like this, then you're gonna put a lot of weight on the doll's neck. But if you hold the head itself, you won't have the pressure on the neck. Another thing I highly recommend is when you start brushing, start at the ends and make your way through the top. If you start at the top, you're most likely to pull a lot more hair out. So then we rinse. Can we take a little moment to appreciate this hair? It looks so beautiful. Like the color combination is just so cool. Now we put in the conditioner. So, um, somebody wanted to join me. Hi, say hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at the dolls. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna, oh, she's gonna sit on my dolls as a tree. <laughs> Girlfriend, what are you? Right. Um, 
So the style was actually meant for my dolls, but Misty apparently had a different idea. All right, my brats are so far done, and so they're fully shampooed, conditioned, and brushed. And then these two have been shampooed, brushed, and conditioned. However, I'm leaving them now, so I have to rinse out the conditioner. But other than that, they're pretty much done. I will be doing a boil wash on some. So Missy's keeping the rest of the dolls company, and now I'm gonna try and fix them. You like to say anything about that? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey, hey, just say something like that. She looks like one of those trolls, actually. This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I honestly do not know how they end up in situations like this. But, um, this girl is doing a handstand, y'all. All right, they are all done. Only these two need to, like, get their hair rinsed out because there's still conditioner in there, but it's the rest is all done. Done. But the next step will be to fill up my water boiler. Could also add in some fabric softener for when the hair is really frizzy and really bad, but I almost never do that anymore. All right, so basically what I like to do is just dump the doll's head straight into the capsule and just dip it in a bit. And then I transport it back here and I give it a good brush to see if it if it's like how I want it to be, if I'm satisfied with it. And if I want it to be a little more softer, I dunk it in a few more times. And yeah, I do that until I'm satisfied. I do recommend um, doing some research on your doll hair because there are certain types of doll hair that you should never boil wash because there are certain types that will burn or melt if you put it in the boiling water. I know from experience that Kanako on hair is not good in a boil wash. Like, it'll literally melt and break off. Overall, most brat's hair can be boil washed. So quick little warning, this is boiling hot water, so the risk of burning yourself is pretty high. So if you're a child, please get parental supervision so that no accidents will be caused. And they're done. I gave some of them a boil wash and they're looking so stunning. I was most impressed with Mira because like I said, she was supposed to have that really bad hair texture but actually, honestly, her hair is so good. It's so soft. It's like a teeny bit frizzy on the ends but it's not even noticeable. So like, I'm impressed and I'm satisfied. And then here are the other three girlies looking gorgeous as well. I'm gonna leave these girlies to dry and I'll come back tomorrow and then I'll dress them, style their hair and show you the final product. Also, this is the amount of hair that we've lost. There's a bunch of different colors. Like most hair came off of her. She also has a lot of hair. All right, it's been a day and the girlies are still standing here to dry. Um, some do need like a little brush right now. Oh my God. She looks so gorgeous. Like look at the shine of the hair, the way it floats fluently. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, I'm now gonna brush them up and give them a little outfit and then I'll show you the end results. It's there already. So yeah, let's get to them. So up first is Mrs. Madeline Heather. So I gave her these shoes because I don't have her original shoes. She didn't came with them. And I had these laying around anyway. So that's cute. Um, For the hair, it's not perfect. Like, it's soft and all. It's kind of still really sticky and, yeah, gluey on her scalp. But I'm not going to be fixing that today. Maybe I will do it in the future. But for now, I'm not going to do that because taking their heads off just gives me so much anxiety because their head mechanism is so, I don't know, it's so complicated and I'm afraid to break something. So I'm just going to leave her like this. She managed to keep some of her curls, so that's cute. I love them. She's cute. So yeah, that's Madeline. Then we have Goose Come Alive Frankie Stein. Her hair is so soft. She's cute. She turned out great. Stacy. So I don't have any Stacy clothing. So it was kind of a kind of hard to find a fit that would actually look cute on her and fit on her. So yeah, this is Stacy. Like her face got so clean. It had all of these like random white marks on it and that's all gone now. So that's great. 
Next are the Tweller Bees. So, Chrisella is looking nice. Her ponytail did come off, but I redid it because it's her original hairstyle. And yeah, she's done it really good. Her hair is really soft, flowy, and beautiful. And then Janessa also looks really gorgeous. I'm kind of sad I didn't get the skirt though because it would have looked so cute. But yeah, she looks good. Her hair is really soft and shiny. All right, now on to the Bratz dolls. Starting off, we have Mrs. Cut and grow yasmin now she has some cuts on top of her head you can kind of see it but overall she looks amazing her hair is so soft and wavy and flowy and it's just oh my god it's so much better than it used to be i'm gonna put in some clips of before and after when uh, i finish this i give her this cute little top and i also added this cute little headband that another doll came with so yeah and then we have Mira. Oh my god. I cannot describe how impressed and satisfied I am with Mira. For some reason, hers is just so sh soft and shiny. It didn't even take that much combing to get it untangled. Her hairstyle did come out, but she still looks gorgeous. And I'm so, so happy to finally have her with good hair. This is Mira. Also, she kind of reminds me of a girl I know, so... Lol. Then we have Partigal's Jade. So I decided to give her her second outfit because I already have the one, the first one over there so i was like oh i'm gonna give her a second outfit i'm not too sure if i'm a big fan of it like her first one is definitely better but yeah this is miss girl she is gorgeous her hair they're not so good however i do feel like she has less pink streaks in her hair than the one i already owned i'm happy to have her i love articulated dolls one second so she's really stunning and gorgeous, and I'll definitely have a lot of fun with her. Then we have two Chloe's. This is Mrs. Fashion Show Chloe, and oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see this, but oh, her hair looks so shiny, it's so soft, it floats so fluently. Like, it genuinely reminds me of the hair in the show, because it also floats so easily. I'm so sorry for the noise. So she's stunning. I'm so happy to have her. I already owned her, but the one that I owned was broken. And it was the last doll to have refixed by my grandpa. So it has sentimental value. But I'm glad I also have the doll in her unbroken body. And then speaking of flowy hair, oh my goodness. I feel like she has the exact same hair as Fashion Show Chloe. It also feels the same. It looks the same. And I'm just so impressed. I'm satisfied with how she turned out. And then last, but most certainly not least, oh my god, I'm just, ah, I'm freaking out. Mrs. Flashback Fever Yasmin. Oh my god, this girl is so stunning. Like, this doll, it's just, oh, I can't even, like, look at her. I gave her her original fit that she came with in the box because I thought it would be cute. And these little teeny tiny roller skates are so cute. Oh my god. She is so adorable. I love her so, so much. She is a gorgeous. Her roller skates do actually work, so that's really cool. Alright, if you reached this part of the video, that means you're at the end. And oh my god, thank you so much for sticking with me. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to leave some suggestions in the comment section on what kind of videos you'd like me to do. And if you have any requests, that would be fun. Yeah, for now, I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I hope this video made it better. And I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!